be lukewarm, gotta pick a side. Pick a side. Who am I? We went through slavery, right? I don't know if y'all y'all know who Willie Lynch is. Do y'all know? Okay, Willie Lynch, right? He was a white slave owner, right? He was a, he was he taught other white men how to rule plantations. So one of the things he said was, in order for me to keep the black people, right, that we call ourselves today black, the Israelites, who we are, the tribe of Judah, and oppressing was for me to reverse the roles of society. What I need is for the women to become more ma masculine, and I need the young men, right, to be strong physically, right, but mentally weak, right? So he reversed the roles in the sense that he made women to become like men, and he made men to become like women. That's how we stand in here the way we are today. In the sense of what? You don't even got your nails painted. He got his nails look better than yours. Yeah. That's because the roles are starting to be reversed in our society. Right. You see what I'm saying? That was done deliberately. So God said when that happened in the book of Isaiah, this is what was going to happen. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 12. Yeah. As for my people, children are their oppressor, and women rule over them. You see what he said? He said children have become the oppressor, and the person that's over them is who? The woman. So the woman has allowed these young men to become oppressors because little Uzi, he dressed like you, right? And what does he do? What did he rap about? You never heard of little Uzi? Okay, what rapper you heard of? You know little Yachty? Yep. Okay, what you listen to? You got headphones, what you listen to? Because if I ask her who she listened to, she know Megan Thee Stallion, you know who that is? You listen to Megan Thee Stallion? Okay. So that's who you listen to, right? But the, my, my point is, is see, what, see, my, see my issue, sis? Not only is the, is the black woman teaching other black women to be ratchet, she's teaching black boys how to be ratchet, too. Right? Right? Because right. look, at, look at what we listen to. The same people you said that teach us nonsense, right? So does Megan Thee Stallion teach you how to be a man? Does Cardi B teach you how to be a man? So the Bible said when women ruled over, right, the children, they will become our oppressors. Do little kids in your generation, do they listen to their parents? Yes or no? No? Why not? Okay, right. You have two. I look at your nails and I can tell that's what's been teaching you, right? And the problem is you need men to come out here and show you what's the difference, right? Between Because give me uh, Revelation 21 verse 8. You want to go to the kingdom of heaven? Do you want to go to the kingdom of heaven? Do you want to go to heaven? Yes or no? Do you? Okay, so we've been having a conversation with my sister for a little while, right? So she's been here. She's probably like, huh? Ah. We got you, right? Real quick, I'm going to read the scripture and we're going to tell you. Go ahead. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, and verse 9. Yeah. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. We want the kingdom of God, right? So he said the unrighteous will not get the kingdom of God. So he's going to describe to you what's unrighteous in God's eyes. Go ahead. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters. Nor adulterers. So fornicators, men sleeping around, right? Idolaters, people that believe in other gods, right? Fornicators and adulterers, go ahead. Nor effeminate. Nor what? Effeminate. Somebody look up the definition of effeminate for me, right? Because you as a young man, right? You want to get the kingdom of heaven. So what does the word effeminate mean? Right. So now, would you say painting your nails is more female-esque? Okay, we're going to read the actual official definition. Because I'm bringing this out because as your big brother, I love you. I know your grandma didn't teach you this. But I'm telling you, you got to take the damn paint off your nails, bro. Right. You got to man up. Right. You a boy. You understand what I'm saying to you? You're supposed to be a king on this earth. You're supposed to rule the planet. Yeah. But you can't do that with paint on your nails. Right. I'm telling you straight up, this is not hate, this is love. Because if my little brother was doing the same thing, I would tell him, it's time to man up. And what you're missing is in a male role model in your life to show you and guide you in a way that you need to be guided. Effeminate, read that. Effeminate. With reference to a man having characteristics and ways of behaving traditional, traditionally associated with women and regarded as inappropriate for a man. Now, in old times, in the time of slavery, did our ancestors have their fingernails painted? Because it was whose characteristic to have their fingernails painted? Females. And you know that. But the reason you do that is because grandma allows it. Because society allows it. But what did God say? Read 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 9 again. Watch this. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that, that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, but n be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, 
nor effeminate, nor effeminate, right? Nor effeminate, go ahead. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So if you have your fingernails painted, are you going to inherit the kingdom of God according to this? Okay. So what you got to do is what? Become a man according to the scriptures. And them characteristics that you have, that's not characteristics of a man. Typically when people paint their fingernails, right, they're associated with what? Homo what? Okay, are you into that? Yeah? Okay, I'm going to help you out, bro. This is love. This ain't hatred. Give me Leviticus chapter 20. I'm going to show you what the Bible says about it. Because again, you've been to church before? Have you been to church before? Once. Okay. And in the church, right, did they ever tell you who you are and how great you were? Because that's, that, might be part, that might be part of why you're looking for other things to make yourself great. Like painting your fingernails or piercing your nose and trying to make yourself look good, right? There may be a fa uh, an, art, an art of low self-esteem. You've probably seen this image in church. You've probably seen this in church before, right? This ain't what God looked like. God looked like you. And guess what? He ain't need to paint his fingernails. He didn't need to put a ring in his nose. He looked like you just because when he came out and he was born, he was great. Right. That's what you are. You have the image of God on you. Right. You ain't got to paint your nails. You understand what I'm saying to you? I'm going to read the scripture for you. So the homosexual lifestyle, you got to come out of it. Right? You understand? This is how you're going to get the kingdom of God. I want to be there with you when we go. Right. I want to look up and say, look, my brother took off the paint off his nails, right? He said, I'm greater than this. I'm going to stop acting like a woman. I'm going to become the man that God said I am. I'm going to repent. That's, That's right. what we are here to do. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 13. Right. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman. So if a man lies down with a man like he lies with a woman, that's referring to them doing what? Help him out. Maybe he don't know. Okay, because they had what? What act did they just commit? They did what? What was it? What is it called? Come on now. Y'all listen to Cardi B. Oh, that's all Megan the stuff. Okay, they had sex. Right? So read it again. Thank you. Thank you. If a man also lieth with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, uh -huh. both of them have committed an abomination. You see what he called it? He said both of them have committed a what? Abomination. abomination. So to God, abomination, does he love it or does he hate it? He hates an abomination, right? right. Now, it's because you're better than that. Right. He made you to rule the earth, not for a man to lie on top of you. I'm telling you straight up. Right. Right. He made you. This entire planet was made for the nation of Israel. Right. But what's happened to us is we've dropped low. We have low self-esteem. Right? We look for guidance in these women that rap and these men that rap, and we don't turn back to the Bible. Right. When we were put into slavery, our minds were destroyed as a people. That's why we got to come out here and save you. We at war for your soul, even though you ain't fighting for yourself because you done painted your fingernails and started listening to Megan Thee Stallion, and you gave up, and you're just like, hey, I'm going to die, and I'm going to be what I am. I'm out here to fight for your soul. Right. I'm out here to remind you that you're a man, and it's time to wake up. Right. It's time for you to be that man. I know your daddy didn't tell you. My daddy died young. You understand what I'm saying to you? I had to be raised by my mother, but I learned that I was a man. Right, right. You understand? That's what you are. You got to stand up and be a man, right? Read it again. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, uh -huh. both of them have committed an abomination. Uh -huh. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So if you caught up in homosexuality when Christ returns, what's going to happen to you? He said you shall surely be put to what? Read it again for you. I want it to stick. Read it slow for you. If a man also lie with, him, with mankind as, with, as lie with a woman, uh -huh. both of them have committed an abomination. Uh -huh. They shall surely be put to death. So what was the judgment for being in homosexuality? Death, right? Back then. Now you have mercy under Christ to come up out of that lifestyle. Right. But if you don't, right? You ever heard of grace in the church? Never heard of grace? Okay, in church, right? Because you say you went to church once, so I'm going to help you out. Church, they talk about grace, right? Or in the Bible, it talks about grace. So you have a time period to get right with God. That's what right now is. You see the wars that's popping off in Israel? The Bible talks about that. It talks about World War III and the destruction that's going to come. So the time you have is to get right before Christ returns in the middle of World War III. Revelation 21, real quick. And, and this is the Alma verse 8. The people that do not to repent when Christ returns, there's going to be fire for them, right? You know what it feels like to burn your hand? How does that feel? feels terrible, right? You said it terrible, right? So now, if your soul was burning, how do you think that would feel? Agon agonize. Oh, man, that's great. Find me that scripture that says national teeth. Read that. Revelation 21.8. This is the judgment for those caught up in a homosexual lifestyle when Christ returns. That's why we're telling you so that you can come up out of that, and when he returns, you can be right with the Lord. You understand? 
And we got plenty of brothers that wear purple that came up out of that lifestyle. You understand? Right. I, I, I ain't out here to condemn you. It's brothers that have to come out of that because they've been taught through uh, uh, Christianity, right? Through, the, the, through slavery and the captivity that they've been put in that that was okay. That's not okay. Just like it's not okay for her to dress like a man wearing pants, it's not okay for you to be a feminine like a woman. We got to change it back to the way God made it. You got it? Okay, read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 8. But the fearful and the uh, and unbelieving and the abominable. And God said homosexuality was what? Abominable, right? So read again, watch what he said. But the fearful and unbelieving uh -huh. and the abominable uh -huh. and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. You see what he said? He said, you're going to have your lake, your part in the lake of fire, meaning you're going to burn for a thousand years. For what? For, for being homosexual. Is it worth it? Is that worth it? I'm asking you. You think it's worth it? It's not. But what you haven't been taught is the judgment for your actions. You've been taught that when society doesn't accept those behaviors, something's wrong with society. You see what I'm saying? That's typically what's taught. What we're trying to tell you is nothing wrong with society. Society has, well, there is something wrong with society. But what society has lost is keeping the commandments of God. Christ said, right, you said it would be agonizing. So I'm going to read you a scripture. Christ said on the day he returns, this is how it's going to be. Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 24. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. The, the gate that's straight means it's disciplined, it's narrow. Meaning you're going to have to, like me, I can't be a whoremonger and do whatever I want. So Cardi B is wrong for both of us. Making a stallion roll for all of us because they preach about what? Sleeping with people, shaking their behind, clubbing, right? They don't teach about being disciplined. Right. The music we listen to don't make us straight. It doesn't make us disciplined. Right. So God said enter in at the straight gate, the discipline gate. That's what our people have lacked. We lack order. We lack discipline. Go ahead. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Many going to want to go to the kingdom of heaven, but they're not going to be able to. Why? Because they got on pants as women, right? They got on fingernails as painted as men. They're not going to be able to go to the kingdom. They're not going to be able to enter. Go ahead. When once the master of the house is risen up and has shut, the, shut to the door uh -huh. and, and to knock and to knock and, and, at, ye, hmm? and, ye, begin. Oh, yeah. and ye begin you ye be, begin to stand without uh -huh. and to knock at the door saying Lord, Lord, open unto us uh -huh. and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence Ye are. He's going to say, I don't know you, right? Even though you felt like you went to church or you had grace of God, right? He's going to say, I don't know you. Why? Because you never done what the Bible says. Right. Like if you had somebody outside your door, you might look like your cousin, but once you look through the people and realize they're not dressed like your cousin, they don't sound like your cousin, they're not getting in the house. Right. So God is going to look at, let me find the men of Israel, the tribe of Judah. Hold that sign up so you can see who he is, man. You are from the tribe of Judah. He's going to be looking for men from the tribe of Judah. David was a warrior on earth. He didn't have no damn painted fingernails. Sisters that we read about in the Bible are Judith, right? Esther. These are women that wore beautiful dresses, and they commanded the attention of men without even opening their mouths. They didn't even have to speak because the way they walked, they were so majestic. So that's what the tribe of Judah stands for. It don't stand for what it's become today. But that's why we got to come out of the nonsense. Read. Then shall ye be begin to say... We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, uh -huh. and thou hast taught in our streets. You see what it says? He said, thou hast taught in our streets, meaning you learned the Bible in the street. You were told, stop painting those fingernails. You were told, take those pants off, right? So now when you come to the door and you knock and you say, hey, can I get in? Christ already told you, you're going to get taught in the streets. Now either you're going to listen and you're going to do what's right, and when he comes and he says, who's coming to the kingdom, you're going to get in because you followed it or you didn't listen. And this is what's going to happen next. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye are. Uh -huh. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. All you that did sin, that chose to continue in homosexuality, that chose to continue dressing like a man, right? That chose to continue having these behaviors that were against God, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Meaning sin, right? Because all these things that we read to you is sin. Go ahead. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When he says weeping, that means you're going to be in the fire crying your behind off. And gnashing of teeth. Why do you gnash your teeth together? Because you're in what? You're in pain. He said the agonizing pain. 
Right. He said, you're going to be in pain when I return if you do not get yourselves right now. Right. He's not letting you into the kingdom. And that's what the church don't teach you. The church tells you you can continue as you are, come as you are, and you're going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. But the thing we got to understand is y'all are from the nation of Israel. Right. The reason that y'all don't have your minds right right now is because for thousands of years, hold that up for me. For thousands of years, you were put into, into slavery, right? What they did to us in, in slavery, my young brother, was you ever heard of buck breaking? You never heard of that, right? See, I know, they don't teach you in school. They took the biggest slave, like this, right? Big man, six, six foot tall. And they took him and they tied him up and they raped him. They raped him in front of his mother, in front of his children, in front of all other men. Why did they do that? To humili humiliate him and then do what? They broke his mind. So what do you think he started acting like after he was buck broke? He started acting like you, right? You raise your hand. What did he start acting like? He started acting like a homosexual. So the way they got us to commit to being that way was through whipping us, through beating our backs in, through breaking us down as men to the point where we said, I'm going to paint my fingernails and just be like a woman. It's safer that way. Go ahead, read that. Uh, Buck breaking. The alleged act of publicly punishing a male slave, typically by first flogging him and subsequently sexually assaulting or raping him in front of other slaves in order to humiliate him. You see what that says, my young brother? It said he was a buck broke in order to be humiliated. And now today, as men, we fall into a point since where the women are okay with our men humiliating themselves. Because they think this is safer, right? It's safer for him to be like this and not be outside and not be in the streets than to be a man who God called you to be. You understand what I'm saying to you? You were called to be a man, to lead nations, bro. You a king on the earth. You ain't supposed to have your fingernails painted. Right. What's your name, my brother? Torrance Rain. Torrance, what you learned today? That for one to reach true, to reach God's gate, I must repent and avoid homosexuality. Or in, other, or in other words, feminism. Feminism, okay. Being a feminine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so things like, what did you learn about your nails today? To chip them off and to quit being a homosexual. Okay, okay. What you learn your nationality was? Israel. Okay, and from what tribe? Tribe of Judah. 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 Okay. Do you feel like what we taught you today was hate? No. What was it? Like a lie. Love a lie. Because, because despite how, despite my self low self esteem as of now, I felt actually really touched by your words. I felt like maybe there is another path for me to go down. So now you know where you gotta come, right? We got a school, right? We got the address. We can teach you much more, brother. That means you're a king, right? And this whole planet will give it to you, okay? All right, my brother, repent. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is